video, we're talking about the Hybrid Club. This club is not a wood. It's also not a long iron. It's in between, and these are wonderful. I'm gonna talk about the types of lies you should play them out of, how different types of lies affect the club, as well as how to use this club and when to use it based on the situation. Okay, so for a long time, golfers have struggled with long irons. It used to be a set of clubs came with a two iron, then the manufacturers got rid of the two iron, they started coming with the longest club being a three iron, now it's a four iron or a five iron. So long clubs are tough to hit, so we're getting rid of those. That would leave us with fairway woods. However, a lot of times this is just too much club, so the manufacturers came up with this great idea called the hybrid. It's called the hybrid because it's a mix of a fairway wood and a long iron. These are great because you can use them off the tee. You can use them from the fairway, you can use them from the rough, and you can even hit them out of a divot. Let's take a look at some specific things we want to just be aware of when we are using the hybrid. So in this, uh, in this shot, we're teeing off with the hybrid. We've actually got a ball under the tee. And I want you to notice here, I'm going to stop this. Notice how as I'm setting up to the ball, the actual tee height is very low. So that ball is barely teed up. You, you can't even tell that there's a tee under it. It's just a really, it's basically teed up like it's a nice lie. These clubs are designed to hit the ball from the turf, from the ground. So if you tee the ball up a little bit and you make a really good swing, you're actually going to catch the club a little bit high in the club face and you're going to hit the ball really a little too high and you're going to lose some distance. So we want to just tee this ball up just like it's, it's set up on a good lie there, okay? So next thing is we're going to take a look at hitting a shot with a hybrid just from the fairway. And you can see here that um, it, it looks almost the same. You can see that my, my ball position is still just, it's a little bit forward to center. So really what, what we want to look for is, is we want to have the ball position set up so it's more forward than for our mid irons, but it's not going to be way up near our front heel like you would do for the driver. So it's just going to be a little bit forward in our stance and we're gonna swing the club normally from the fairway. And what's great here is you can see when we catch that ball, there's no divot, maybe even caught it a little bit thin, but that's okay. The hybrid's got that low center of gravity because it's got that really wide sole play. So if you catch it a little bit thin, you'll still get really good ball flight out of it. So let's take a look at now hitting out of a divot. All right, so here we're trying to find a nice little divot here to put the ball in. And you can see we're on bare turf. And what's great about the hybrid is really, when I'm playing a ball out of a divot, I don't even, I don't change anything. I just go ahead and make a normal swing. Uh, if the ball was really well down below the surface, then I would expect to, pro to probably play a little bit of a thinner shot because I catch the ball up near the equator. But, but really, when you're hitting balls out of a divot, it's just a regular old swing. You can see that one caught a little bit thin but that ball is still going to get up in the air and it's still going to be a reasonably good shot. Now here's what's really cool. You can actually play the hybrid from a fairway bunker as well. So let's take a look at that sort of a shot right here. So you can see here from the fairway bunker, all I'm going to do is uh, play actually about the same ball position. If anything, it's going to be a little bit further back in my stance and I'm just gonna swing normally. Now the one thing is when you're hitting a hybrid or any club out of a fairway bunker, if you're going to miss it, try to miss it a little bit thin. So we don't want to ever hit the sand first. Now here's what's great about using a, a, a hybrid, excuse me, versus using an iron. Because the sole of that, of that hybrid is so much wider, if you do catch a little bit of sand before the ball, that club is more likely to actually bounce off the sand a little bit or even glide through the sand, whereas an iron's gonna dig. So now we're gonna go over, we're gonna take a look at a couple practical situations you may face in the golf course to help you with your decision making on when do you wanna use this hybrid on the course. Do you wanna go ahead and try for that hybrid or are you better off playing a shorter club. So let's take a look at a couple situations here. So here's a situation where I am playing a golf hole with, uh, first off, it's a distance that with my hybrid, I can reach the green if I hit a good shot. 
But if you take note at the layout of the hole from here, you'll notice that there is water right as well as it looks like half the green short. So there's a lot of trouble a little bit short and way over to the right. Um, this, is a, this is a situation where if I hit my hybrid, I've got to hit almost a perfect shot because if you look to the left, you can see the road to the left, there's actually out of bounds. So this is a situation where the hybrid is probably not going to be the choice. I'm going to lay up with a short iron and then I'm going to play my next iron onto the green, try to make a birdie that way. Safely on, next shot on the green. Okay, so we're in a situation where I can reach the green with a good shot. There's no trouble left, there's no trouble right, there's plenty of room long, there's plenty of room short. This is a total green light situation, and I'm okay to hit my hybrid, and if I miss it, I'm still gonna be in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Aiming up the right-hand side of the green, let it draw right in there to the hole. All right, that's a little bit of a cut. So it's not the shot that I was hoping for, but it is safe. I can still knock that ball in the green. And since it's a par five, I actually have a good opportunity to make a birdie. Now there is one situation where you may be better off with a long iron. Punching the ball out of the woods. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that now you have a better idea of when and how to use the hybrid. Please leave comments and questions below.